Hello, this is a review of a product called LI Control, available at linsight.org, L-I-N-S-I-G-H-T dot org. And this is for the Generation 1 Honda Insight, years 2000 through 2006. So I'm starting here just showing you an example of the gas mileage I have achieved with this product on my car. And uh, gonna talk a little bit about it. Please do visit those websites that I just um, mentioned for more information. A uh, fellow named John Sullivan created all of this and you can visit his website, linsight.org and get all the info you want about it. I'm just gonna share a few quick thoughts that I uh, have come up with in, uh, since installing this about 350 miles ago and enjoying it. So um, this is the Honda Insight Generation 1 here, is what we're looking at. And you know, really for the last 10 or 15 years, people have been experimenting with uh, what's known as MIMA, or manual IMA control. And the idea here is that Honda did a great job creating a uh, supplement to the gasoline engine, which is the hybrid uh, tech that we now is pretty modern and everywhere. Um, but what if we could control the charge and assist ourselves rather than Honda's uh, ECU doing it? So that's what all of this is with uh, Lin's uh, LI control, which is lithium control. And you have a uh, little uh, joystick wheel here that you use, and this gives you power, and this gives you regeneration. So assist, regen. And all the other buttons are different settings. I'm not going to go into that because you can explore that on the uh, website I just mentioned. But, um, yeah, I'm able to get about 116 on my commute there, my 8.6 mile commute to work. And uh, so just a few thoughts uh, I'll explain. Um, if you're new to all of this, I'm not going to go into this, but just to let you know, this is something that is compatible with the LIBCM setup for these cars. So you can go to, again, Linsight, get info on that. It's about a $300 um, option. And uh, the installation is, um, you know, it's it's a complicated thing. If you're not familiar with this, it's going to take you several settings. Um, if you know what you're doing, it can be done in, uh, you know, I'd say four, five, six hours. Uh, you have to pretty much gut everything. You got to um, take the seat out. You've got to remove this panel here. Uh, behind me right there you got to remove that panel under that you got to remove your battery you've got to uh, install or hack um, either uh, you know you just got to interface with the the uh, stock wiring um, and PCBs in the actual um, LIBCM itself in three different places and then you have to fabricate and cut into your stock armrest well or center cubby I should call it area here to install the buttons um, so, you know, it's, it's not the most simple install, um, to use it, you're driving and you put yourself in, in your correct mode here. And then you simply have your hand right here and you shift into the gear you want. And then you can control this here with your thumb. It's quite easy. Um, it really didn't take long. And basically what you're doing is you're just, again, deciding when the car does or doesn't, uh, assist and, uh, charge. So um, what the you know bottom line of this is you're able to have moments where instead of using gas, you would use power. And that's how, and I just showed on my screen, <coughs> um, that is how you can get 117 gas mileage. In this car normally, and you can look at my other videos if you like, um, I'm normally able to get 70 to 80 miles per gallon. Um, so, you know, I'm getting 115, 120 or so with this, uh, option. So how am I doing it? Well, I'm just using the battery instead of the gas. That's really what it comes down to. Now, um, that's wonderful. Um, because of that, the, um, the, the downside is that you have to charge. So there's two lithium architectures available for this vehicle right now. One is the, uh, what's known as the five amp hour 3G setup, which is batteries from a third generation Honda Insight. That's what I have. It's the less expensive model. And again, you can go to John's website or look at my previous videos where I go into a ton of detail about this. I even have an interview with John, actually, that's my um, one or two videos ago. So check that out. Um, or the other option is the uh, FOMOCO, which is the Ford 
motor company, which I think are Samsung cells. And that gives you about 10 times the power that I have. It's also double the cost and a much more complicated um, installation. Um, so, um, but you know, you, so with that Ford motor company, uh, batteries with 10 times the power, you're going to be able to get two or 300 miles per gallon. Um, again, this is review is specific for the, uh, generation three insight cells. Um, but in either case, you're going to be charging all the time. You can see I'm plugged in right now and the car's charging. Uh, it's actually not charging cause I turned it off just to make this video, but, um, yeah, so, you know, the downside of this is uh, two downsides. Uh, yeah, yes, you can get 117 miles per gallon driving through town. Uh, it's fun. It's cool. Yeah, people get in your car. What's that? Oh, that's just the controls to the International Space Station. And uh, just leave people wondering. But um, So it's awesome and fun to get the great NPGs. However, there are two downsides. Number one is you're always going to be grid charging. Uh, you know, because with every drive, you're depleting your pack. So I start usually with 70, 75% state of charge. And by the end of my commute to work, I'm, you know, depleted to 20 or 30%. So that's just going to happen. Um, cause that's how you're achieving great gas mileage. You're using the battery instead of gas. Um, and then the second downside, and this is the bigger one. And honestly, guys, this is the one I was a little surprised about, but it was kind of a good surprise. Um, you know, as I found myself putzing around getting a hundred and whatever miles per gallon, I, um, I just miss driving this car because when you are doing that, when you are using the manual control, you're really having to think about pretty much everything. You're already steering, you're using your turn signals, you're clutching, you're shifting, you are, um, you know, looking out for everyone else and you have your hands on this little button down here and you're controlling everything, um, you know, and you're thinking about best gas mileage. And, and so I found myself after, uh, you know, a few hundred miles of this, um, just thinking, man, I just miss putting this car in second gear and flooring it. And this car has uh, lithium plus current hack plus voltage spoofing. So it will move. Um, it's not fast, but it is quick. And uh, I just miss that. I miss pulling into turns real quick. You know, it's real fun with this car. It's real. Um, it, it's just a beautiful little car to drive at 1800 pounds with all the power it does now with lithium and those uh, mods I just mentioned. So I found myself just, you know, kind of like missing getting to do that, rowing through the gears and not thinking about all that. So that would be the other downside. Um, in the end, it's a great mod, especially even if, you know, if you have the Ford Motor Company batteries, it, it's a no brainer. Like you, you have to do it because you're, that's your way to take advantage of all that power you have behind you in the, in the uh, IMA compartment. If you have this setup, the Lithium uh, Gen 3 Insight, the, the original uh, setup, the cheaper, easier, less powerful, um, I'd say it's a neat it's a neat trick. It's a neat option. For me, I'm kind of like, I'm in hybrid mode now. So I drive the car like normal so I can enjoy it. But then I'll use the controls on occasion to save a little gas here and there. And I find I'm able to get between 80 and 100 miles per gallon doing that. So I kind of get the best of both worlds the way I'm driving. And I'm not going for max MPG, not having a grid charge all the time. But I am able to save some MPGs, you know, here and there, turning the system on. And then just kind of going back and forth again, and like a hybrid hybrid. I've already got a hybrid, and now I'm kind of like hybrid you know, using this system and then also getting to just enjoy it, um, you know, with normal driving. So, uh, great mod. That's my review of the, uh, LI control visit linsight.org for more info. And, uh, thanks for watching. Peace. God bless you.